Good morning guys, uh, this is Matthew here with another episode of the Jio Vlog, specifically on the North American Van Life Industry Tour as I fix up my van and turn it into a podcasting and video production studio. We are again at Seaside Auto House, uh, a, a, a basically a place to work on the van. Ah oh, man, you guys are great. <laughs> friend of a friend knew somebody in Ventura, California that had a, a wrap shop where they wrap uh, custom cars and stuff and uh, they had a little corner a, a big little corner for me to work on my van i have been spraying a, a compound called lizard skin on the interior of the van it's a two-part compound first first two coats is a sound deadener and then the second two coats are a ceramic uh, uh thermal barrier two very very cool things i picked them up in uh, houston if you want to see that video just go a couple of back and you can see me pick them up from the uh, lizard skin uh, supplier uh, distributor creator in in houston so yesterday i sprayed the van there were some prep areas a lot of prep when you spray a vehicle there's a lot of prep and i was not 100 percent happy with oh did you catch that i was not 100 percent happy with my prep work um but I, I i started spraying anyways this workstation here worked out great um, the compounds are easy to clean and so after I finished spraying yesterday the first coat of sound deadener I, I got everything cleaned up and very very happy with it this doesn't overspray a lot it just sort of hangs where you spray it because it's so thick and dense so I was a little bit concerned about his his work vehicles here and uh, I didn't want to accidentally get some sprayed on thankfully I didn't uh, I used a, a full-on hazmat sort of paint paint suit worked very very good everything was great everything was great with regards to the process of spraying i think i tarped off the the van pretty good so so let's now take a look on the inside and see how how a good a spray job i did all right let's go inside here okay so this is a door um and the plastic here actually ruined the texture here i'm gonna have to spray this a second coat and be a little bit more diligent on how the uh this plastic is make it a little bit more taut because it kept on kept on grabbing but i'm i'm putting windows here so everywhere there's white spots you know there's un uncoated spots that's where there's going to be a window so there's no real need to to coat it but let's just take a look at some things here so uh pretty pretty good there are some areas here that i'm going to have to prep and uh, I'm, I'm not happy with everything, but I'm going to go through and be a little bit crazy with, re with regards to um, finding areas where there was an adhesion and sanding them down a little bit more. Here, I think I skipped this area. I didn't even sand that down, so I'm going to have to go in there and do it. There's obviously areas where... Uh, it did coat very well, most of it actually. Most of it did coat very, very well, and it's honestly pretty obvious where it didn't. Like I could see that that spot there was not adhering properly, so I'm, I'm gonna go through. So today, this morning, I'm just gonna go through and find any areas where I feel like there wasn't any, any bonding and, and pull it up and then sand it down, and then on the second coat, I'll be able to spray it and do a better job otherwise we got in pretty good to the areas i mean and even like that latch area i have it sealed off with some um some uh, aluminum foil it hadn't uh, really affected that area this is the original kill mat and the bonding on it is very good so this is the kill mat that was originally on the doors if you guys have watched the last couple of episodes you'll know that I was really worried about putting coating over the kill mat. That was a real question on if the uh, lizard skin was going to actually adhere to the kill mat. That actually is, is just a no sanding area, which is funny because that, that was an area I wasn't really concerned about. I was thinking it was going to bond to the paint pretty well. Um, but, but we do have some areas where um, I'm going to have to go through and be pretty aggressive on the removal of of this stuff so that i can sand it and make sure that it bonds there but i know that area is a problem 
so I'm going to be able to get in there and sand. We have some problem areas here too with this with this bar, and I want to make sure that this this overhead bar here is actually really really well coated because that's where my air conditioning unit is going to go or the the, the air conditioning so vents. We had some some areas here that aren't very good. I'll have to go over this. I mean, some of you might look at this and say this is this is really really not good, Matt. But the majority of it is is very 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 well coated and i sprayed into these compartments a lot uh, yesterday when i when i coated it and so the interior of the that is is pretty good i will tell you that the floor which is all kill mat by the way the floor is all kill mat is pretty well coated there's there's some areas around the wheel wells on the bo bottom here that are not very good. Um, there's, there's here. Here doesn't look very good. So I'm, I'm just going to have to go a little bit crazy with this, but not too crazy. I just want to peel off until it, till it starts to adhere a little bit. All of this area is actually going to be inside walls. So as long as we can get some solid coats there, and then the sound deadener, uh, I mean, and then the thermal barrier. It's going to be pretty thick, and as long as that is insulated on top and then there's a wall over it, I think we're going to be pretty good. I'm more happy with it than not. I woke up this morning and I saw the cockpit. That's that's the worst, worst spot. So this is the cockpit. Uh, there's a whole bunch of this stuff around the center console. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to redo this whole thing, which uh, it is what it is. It didn't stick to any of this, so I'm going to have to peel all this off and... Make sure to come at it again. So I'm gonna go and clean it up, sand all these areas, and then uh, try again. You know, one of the things that having all of these areas shows you, it shows you where you're gonna have problems. So I know exactly where to sand. I know exactly where to prep a little bit more. It's actually not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. So I'm gonna get to work. This is kind of interesting. It's sort of like I have a sunburn, you know, and then every so often your skin burns and then you have like, you have that like peel and then some of, some of the, like for me, when I'm like bald and I get a sunburn, <laughs> it's kind of gross, but I'll, I'll, I have this thing about peeling my dead skin off. Uh, <laughs> it's like cathartic in a weird way. Sadistic way? Is it sadistic? It's your own hair, right? Or your own skin. I, I want to just make sure I, I say I did not prep this properly, okay? So this is not lizard skin's fault. This is my fault. And I pretty much understood that I wasn't doing the best job with regards to prep. Um, I ran into a bunch of problems and there was all excuses, all excuses. But I, I felt like it's possible that I could spray this and it will adhere to any surface, even if I didn't score it properly. And I think you can tell pretty well that, that from the areas where it's peeling off, it, there's, there is almost no sanding done there. So it really is my fault. I'm going to have to accept, you know, accept that. And, and I am, I am, I'm not making excuses. Here especially looks like this, this piece of kill mat just did not, did not grab. And so I have some measures that I can do to fix that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit, an extra half day. I'll let this all cure. I'll save an extra bucket. And then I'll let all of this kind of cure most of the way. And then I will spray uh, one more bucket again on these problem areas if I think I, it needs it. I think this second coat is actually going to go on really well. I mean, I was really concerned with this. And I'm really happy with how this this went on. This, this, the ceiling is like the most important because obviously that's going to come, you know, it has an opportunity to come down. And what are you going to do with that? You know, that's 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 where I want the thermal bar barrier to adhere the most. That and the floor. And although the cockpit area is really bad, I think I can I can repair that and get that coated and maybe double coat that with that second bucket. I should have taken more time to prep, as as with probably many 
beginners like myself, but I bought some wire brushes, some new wire brushes. So anywhere where the kill mat is not, you know, adhering properly, I, I think that helped out a lot. I don't know if you guys watched yesterday's episode, but kill mat is basically like a tar with a, uh, like a foil paper over the top. And I was using a, uh, a wire brush and I was just beating it and it was piercing the, uh, the, 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 the like foil coating. And I think that was allowing the, the uh, spray, the lizard skin kind of grab on. In the doors, everything's good. Everything's, everything's pretty good. I, I'm actually really enjoying peeling it off. <laughs> it's like, like I said, it's like a sunburn. But if you guys are wondering what it, what it looks like, like what the actual kill mat looks like, it's like this. The one thing I am worried about is now if it's not adhering really, really well to the surface of the metal, it might allow for some condensation or some water to form underneath. And there's no, like once this is finished and a couple of coats are on, there's, there's no way for the water to escape. So a little nervous about that. But I also think that if there's a complete seal, you're not really gonna be able to get sweating on the inside because there's gonna be no water. It's literally just gonna be completely sealed. So I think I think that's how it works. Is that how it works? I mean, if there's no moisture in that, in that area, it can't seep through this. This is pretty non-permeable. One of the great things about this compound is you don't have to worry about it being um, flat or sh having a sheen. It's literally just bogging on. So it saves me a lot of time in, in the spraying and, and especially when I peel it off, I'm not gonna have to like feather feather the bad into the good side, you know? Just, I could just kind of sort of brutalize it <laughs> with stripping it off. I'm gonna start spraying. Okay. Oh <laughs> <laughs> no worries. All right. All right, have fun in there. You let me know if I get a little too crazy. Yeah, if you get a little too crazy, I'll come check on you and see if you got some oxygen. All right, guys, we are about ready to spray. I have the area prepped and cleaned. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. That's the compressor getting ready to go. There was a bunch of the wheel well here is really, really bad. So I, I pulled off as much as I could and then I scored it up. Uh, I made sure to like puncture all of the, all of the exposed uh, soundproofing. The door, the, the sliding door was a real mess. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, that was, a, that was a real mess. So I got it all scored up and cleaned up and yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. This area here is scored up, cleaned up. This area here, this area here, that area there, that area there, a little bit here, a little bit here, and here. I got that all cleaned up pretty good. A weird place on the door right there, but really the major buhau is here, so I'll make sure to spray that pretty good, get a good coverage. And then that, you know what happened in this wheel well? I spilled mineral spirits there. So that's the reason it didn't stick. It was, there was some sort of a lubricant there that was not allowing anything to stick down. So, but it's fixed now. Coat number two.
Hey guys, how's it going? Well, we're only halfway through. Well, one bucket through, but made some progress. It's much thicker now. You can see that it's definitely orange peeled up. Here, let me, oh, this one's kind of new. So this is still a little soft. The uh, So I've done all of this, all of the ceiling, all of the cab. Now I've got to do this whole wall and then the floor. So actually we're farther than half, but we only used one bucket. I don't know what's going on. I, I really feel like I, I caked it on, but I feel like I'm using less today than I did yesterday, which this wasn't my intention. Anyways, I think what I'll do is I'll finish the door here and then I'll do this whole wall and then I will just go to town on areas that I don't that I think needed a little extra love and then I will do the floor because once you do the floor you can't you can't go back and do anything else I'll do the floor dead last and then I'll just and I'll be done one thing that I did is when I was doing this door that door over there the passenger door um, I realized that the railing that that receives the uh, windshield that has a soft like sort of receiver like the, the railing for the window uh, I didn't tape over it so I sprayed almost directly in it yesterday and it was hard today so I'm a little nervous I think it's probably not gonna be good to roll the window up and down on that side or maybe not I don't know we'll, we'll find out but yeah, I think I probably, I messed that, I messed that up. We'll see if that is a, uh, it's gonna be a big problem or, or just something else to deal with. I am also a little nervous when we peel this tape off that uh, maybe the tape is gonna pull this whole guard, gall darn thing off. So I'm gonna have to be very careful taking the tape off. I hope I didn't mess anything up. Life is about making some mistakes. Hopefully I didn't make too many. Maybe I'll put a, maybe I'll put one of the GoPros here and do a time lapse and just let it run while I work my way around and just just go, 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 go. I uh, wore out my last uh, bodysuit, so. so I've got the new one. All right, well, that's it. And we have a whole three gallons left. I can't put it anywhere else. I, I gobbed it on. Hopefully that's enough. So I have all of that left. And then I have that whole container. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna bring it up north or else I'll freeze it. Well, it is what it is. I'm gonna clean up.